Hello, this time I'd like to talk to you about Smart Transform. As you can see, the little indicator behind the command name suggests that this command only works with Smart Magnet Rigs. If you're unfamiliar with Smart Magnet Rigs, you'd better go to our website and learn about this extremely powerful addition to the classic tween workflow. I've typed in the keys associated with Smart Transform just to serve us as a reminder. As you can see, there are 1, Shift plus 1 and Alt plus 1. Smart Transform allows chain selection of elements for transformation based on forward and inverse model. In forward mode, it always places the transformation point of the selected group of objects in the reg point of the highest ranking parent. As you can see, there are five different things that the command can do. So I'll have to walk you through all of these one by one. Now, let's have a look at the node representation of this character in the Smart Magnet Rig panel. As you can see here, the pelvis is the main element and then the upper torso is attached to the pelvis and then limbs and neck and head, all of them branch out of the chest. Okay, and I probably must also introduce the concept of lightweight and heavy. Within this chain, chest, upper arm, lower arm, and hand, the lightest element is the hand and the heaviest within the chain would be the upper arm with the heaviest point being the shoulder joint. Okay, so let me show you how chain selection works. If I select the upper arm and press 1 on the keyboard, you see that the lower arm and the hand were added to the selection downward the chain and the transformation point was positioned at the edge point of the upper arm so that I can logically move this whole arm. An inverse selection up the chain will be like this if I select the hand and press shift plus one. The selection went up from the lightest element to the heaviest but still the transformation point for the whole group was positioned in the shoulder so you can choose either you can select down the chain by pressing one or you can select up the chain by pressing shift one if you already have a selection down the chain just like this and press shift one the point of transformation is snapped at the lightest point within the selection. In this case, it won't be of much use, but it's good to know. Anyway, if I select this one element and press 1, the selection goes down the chain with the transform point being placed in the elbow. If I select this element, as we can see the upper torso, it's a main element, so the selection will go down all these chains. By pressing one, we got all these elements part of the selection, so we can do this. And just another demonstration with shift plus one, the selection goes like this. Now, one last thing that can be done is the alternative inverse mode, which is Alt plus 1. If I select an element like this lower leg here and press Alt plus 1, you can see the selection went up the chain and then down and it put the transform point of this whole selection into the lightest point so that I can tilt the character just like this. Okay, and now a few additional things that you need to know. If you make a selection of multiple elements that belong to the same chain, upon pressing one, 
no elements will be added to the selection and the transformation point will be put in the heaviest uh, registration point just like this. I'll undo and show you that we can select these two and do the same. So no elements are added if the selection is already containing multiple elements. Chain selection is never forced upon the user unless he only selects one element like this or like this. Oh, one more thing. There is a setting for this command which we can access by pressing F12 and this setting tells us what the inverse chain threshold is. When we go up the limb, the selection stops at the first symbol that has more than the number in the setting elements attached to it. The default value is 2 and you will only need to change it if you say have some appendages hanging from the thigh and you would like to have these appendages included in the selection. Okay, I think this covers everything. Thanks for watching.